Push a bit, little bit, roll it up, take a hit, feeling lit, feeling like 2 a.m. summer night. What's up? My name's Josh, owner of Wet Detail, based out of Memphis, Tennessee. My name's Stephen Lundstrom, owner of Authentic Detail. Welcome to the Bay So here we go. We got this all original 71 C10 here. Um, 73,000 original miles and as you, as you can see it's got the original paint as well you know at first when you look at something like this you think oh it's just a dusty old rust bucket but um, having a history in paint restoration and sanding we knew that we could resurface this thing and uh, polish it back out and all of its flaws are its beauty spots. Tell me what you know. Day 32, no food, no water. I've been in the back of a van riding through Mexico. After we saw the, the true rust spots to the truck, we knew that it didn't go all the way through that bare metal. So we started by sanding and polishing these particular areas so we could knock down that rough chipping to the rust and, and really get it as smooth as possible. Um, you know, we, we introduced more of a flat look by block sanding these particular areas. So you can really bring out the true depth and clarity to this original paint. The truck was lacking in the wheel department. We didn't have a big budget to put some mob steel wheels or Colorado Customs on it. This is just a barnyard truck and uh, we wanted to stay true to that so we pulled the wheels off. Uh, had the tires dismounted at a local tire shop and uh, sanded them down, primered them, uh, sprayed them white, put the tires back on, and uh, it really brought out the look of the truck. Hello, Josh Wiley. The truck was sanded, the whole body was. Uh, so we had a, an even canvas to buff on. We weren't chasing rids, rids or random isolated deep scratches. So we leveled everything out. We took the orange peel out of what was left of the paint. Um, we took a lot of the imperfections out of it. And um, then we started buffing. Stop and let's go to work. Let's go to work. Let's go to work. You have no control over the past. It's a canceled trip. Most people don't like working very much. I hear them all the time talking about this sucks. Well, I've got an idea for you. Create a new 
job that you love to do Now it's gonna take time, it's gonna take effort But if your dedicated life will get much better Don't do it for a dollar, don't do it for a dime Do it cause it's how you wanna spend your time And if you stick to it every day Soon you'll have a job that makes you wanna say Let's go to work Let's go to work Let's go to work Nothing new, just polishing up this old turd here. We got the owner in the house. What you think about it so far? Something else that we did with this truck. Um, it's kind of a uh, an experiment to see long-term longevity uh, But we coated this thing with Seaport's finest ceramic coating um, So that's gonna for sure lock in all of our buff work and sand work that we've done to this truck without applying clear coat to it After hours and hours of late nights out here in this garage uh, we were able to make it to the Good Guys Hot Rod Show in Pleasanton, California. It's about an hour and a half uh, from Vacaville. We were able to drive this thing. We finished putting the last coat of finest on it at 9.30 a.m. and we made it to the show by 11 a.m.